Welcome back. We are talking about fire safety. It's a festive season and you know what? You actually stand a risk. The risk is higher this time as compared to any time. Either it's the Christmas lights, you're plugging things, you're cooking, all of that. Most often we think that the workplaces are actually a high risk. But we forget that our homes, we use the fire all the time. It's, it's like I go to every single day. And also, there's going to be some frequent light-offs. So don't forget that. So it could trigger something that you don't want it to trigger. We are talking about fire safety today. And I have with me Abraham Nanation, who is the Health and Safety Manager of Core Fire Safety Limited. And also Grace Lako Maribi, who is the Director of Core Fire Safety Limited. And just like I said earlier, it's all about fire safety. Earlier you were telling us, you know, how to quench fire. We didn't know that water is even dangerous in our kitchens. Yes. Now you were saying something about LPG fire as well. How do we quench that? Okay, so before you even start to talk about how to fight the fire, I want to be proactive. Okay. What and what not to do right. to prevent, I mean, uh, okay. LPG fire. Mm -hmm. Now most homes, they've been using this LPG for maybe more than two years, but the hose has not been changed. I mean, and anything can happen. You are using this one. And what people do is a common practice. Whenever they smell LPG, they just think about going to look for a heavy item like stone mm. or piece of metal to just put it on the, on the valve, which is very, very dangerous. I mean, the maintenance of LPG, I mean, is very, very important. What do you have to do? You don't need to see a leak or a crack on the hose. You have to just change it by two years time. And if you want to be sure, what you have to do is that just get a hose, make a soapy water, put it in there. If you experience bubbles, then you know that you have to change this one. But then quickly, let me take you through what to do when you smell LPG. Maybe right. you go out and you come into your kitchen, you smell LPG. There are certain things you have to do. Do not on any switch or any plug. Even your phone, do not put it on. Don't just try to make a call because the phone is emitting something which can just cause a spark. Remember I told you, you need a source of heat, you need fuel. In this case, the LPG, has fueled the whole kitchen. And then oxygen is, I mean, abundant. So you only need a spark. And even opening your door can cause that spark. So once you enter your kitchen, you find out that there's LPG leaking, you don't just have to even open your door. Even if you have to open your door, then make sure you wet your key before you put it in the knob and then you open it. And what you have to do is that just open all the windows and the door so that enough air will come in there before you turn on the, uh, of course, you immediately have to turn on the, uh, the, the knob. So these right. are what you have to do. But then, if you have to fight LPG fire, we have what we call the um, CO2 extinguisher. This one just here is the CO2 extinguisher. Okay. And this which you, yes. Okay. And you also have the dry chemical I hope powder. I, ca I can carry it with. Oh! It's quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm trying, just in case there's no man at home. At least I have to be able to do this. You see, these extinguishers, they come in different sizes. Okay. So if you're not too comfortable with this size, we can get you a smaller one. And then this one here is called the dry chemical powder. Okay. And as a matter of fact, KU has the highest quality in the market. Okay. It is 90% dry chemical powder. It comes in ranges and sizes, and you can just use it. It's actually called multi purpose extinguisher. So you are good to go with electrical fires. You are good to go with, I mean, uh, ordinary fire that is a common combustible material like paper wood or any other thing so i think i recommend this one for everybody at least get one at home and then right. use it in case of why anything. are we preaching fire safety christmas time grace why not any other day but christmas um well the christmas season new year season is a festive season you have family members coming over people are cooking more than usual you have a co-pot going outside you have the uh, kitchen stove going and also decorations all over town you see people are the streets are decorated but also our private homes with Christmas lights people have to be careful about to make sure that where you are putting the lights make sure that there's no additional paper that can spark a fire the socket that you're going to use it's not uh, a type of socket that is um, not working well because those are all things that can trigger and cause fire so generally we focus on uh, additional fire safety um, information for people because this is a time that people are just engaging in more uh, hazardous behavior. Right, yes. <laughs> right. I want to open the phone lines. It's activated. The phone line is activated. The number is on your screen. Just pick up your phone and call. If you have any question, they are here. They are fire experts, so they can tell you. Yes, they don't work with the fire service, but trust me, one thing I'm excited about with this particular education is because 
uh, we have roads that you can't even, the, the fire service can't even access to come to your home yes. in case of fire outbreak. Yeah. So you need all these first aid, I call them first aid. Yeah. <laughs> you need all these first aid to be there for you yeah. in case of fire outbreak. Yeah. But you were telling us about the emergency, you were telling me about emergency yes. box. I was saying that this is something that um, even regardless of a fire, everybody should be in the practice of having what I call a survival box. So basically, this should be a box. It doesn't have to be big. It can be a box. It can be a bag. It can be a, some kind of device. And sometimes they have them which are fire uh, retardant so that even if there's a fire, that box survives. But basically, it's a, a place where you'll put copies of your passport or a travel document. If you have credit cards, copies of the credit cards, front and back, a little bit of money, and some uh, memorabilia or something that's important to you. Mm -hmm. If God forbid there's ever a fire in your home or you have to leave quickly, you just grab that box. Because anyone who has ever experienced a fire will tell you that that's not the time to be thinking about, oh, what do I need to take from my bedroom? Mm -hmm. What do I have running to get some money? Maybe at that time you just need to leave. Right, I have so a caller on the line. Hello, good morning, Cecilia. Hello, good morning. How are you today? All right, so what's your question for us? Yeah, I'm Cecilia, I'm calling from Springfield. Okay, Cecilia. Yes, my problem is we have a lot of things that is common in Ghana. Mm. Like uh, fire service, they could have done it, but every house must get it compulsory. Like the way they give us dozens compulsory. Mm. Mm -hmm. They could have given us fire service a compulsory. For you to pay because it will be safe for you to have it than not to have it. If you said we should go and buy it ourselves, maybe they will not even think of going to the market and buy it. But if they do it compulsory, every house is, we could have get it. And so far, so we should help us, the individuals, to learn from what they are teaching us now. Thank you so because much. Because me, myself, I have the idea of buying it, but because I don't know where to get it, I've never even asked of it. Wow. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're saying this, and that's why they are here. They, they have a 30% discount also because it's festive season. So once you know that you want to purchase this, we'll put your number out there later so that you can actually call them, and they'll teach you how to use it. So it's not just purchasing, going to put mm -hmm. it down like it's a picture. No, it's not. It's not to beautify your home. It's to be used in case of emergency. Thank you for calling, Cecilia. So like they're saying, everybody needs this education, mm -hmm. and it should be compulsory like insurance. Because, but to get a house home insurance, you must fire have uh, some fire things in there. Now, the question is, the rules and the laws are there. The other question is uh, implementation. Mm -hmm. So there are laws that say you must have this t there, but I'm sure there are people who are circumventing these laws. Mm -hmm. And in the long run, those are, it's, it's probably for the benefit of that individual, but not for the benefit of a tenant or somebody who, who needs it. Right, yes. right. Yes. Now, we have a caller. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello? Okay, if you can call me back, I'll be very grateful. Thank you. So um, let's, let's demonstrate how to use this. Okay. Yes. Uh, we can start with the... Oh, okay, the, the, the caller is back. Here. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Hello, please go ahead. I can hear you. I think the network is... Please call back if you can. I'll be very grateful. Oh, okay, so the need for the fire alarm because of the noise. Okay, so first of all, we just don't. We want to have what we call the early detection. You know, this is what you call smoke detector. Okay, so S smoke detector. I'll just hold it to the camera. Right. That's a smoke Fantastic. detector. So okay. what this does is you fix it to the ceiling in case there's any smoke. You know, every fire will definitely have some smoke. So this is going to detect it and give you an alarm for you to know that there's fire happening somewhere. Right. And then you can fight it or you can evacuate the place. So this is very, very important, smoke detector. It emits okay. a loud noise. noise. yeah. So if you sleep, you can still wake up? Yes. Sure. Because uh, statistically, most fires tend to happen at night. So if you're in a deep sleep and there's smoke, you have a problem. Right. So That's this true. is why the smoke detector give, emits a very loud noise, which will then wake you up for you to react, grab your survival box and run or if you need to uh, fight, it. fight the fire, yes. if you have the capacity right. to do that. And then the blanket? Okay. So this is what we call the fire blanket. Rosalind, you remember growing up, our mothers used to have this pot with a, a blanket, mm -hmm. like a local made mm -hmm. blanket for maybe 
uh, some blanket or a rag. When you're sick, there. they put it on you. They say they, they are putting heat in you so no. that will take out the yes, malaria. That they, they can also put it in water and yes. keep it there every right. time. Yes. When they are cooking and the pot catches fire, they bring it out to mm. cover it. So this is an engineered fire blanket. This is how it works. You just pull it. You pull it and the blanket will come out. It's made from fire retardant material. Okay. So you just have to put it over the fire or over the pot mm. and then the fire will go out. Just like that? Just like that. So you don't need water? You don't need water at all. Please don't make this mistake of <laughs> pouring water <laughs> into fat and oil. If you are cooking with your zomi, mm -hmm. zomi, yes, and then zomi, it is zomi. burning. Mm -hmm. And you decided to pour water into it, you are going to kill yourself. You are worsening the situation. Wow. Or you find out that your electrical appliances are burning and you decided to pour water onto it, you are going to kill yourself immediately. So for uh, fat and oil cooking pots, you need this fire blanket just to cover it. What if you don't have this one? There are certain things you can do. Mm. I made mention of oxygen. Mm -hmm. Once you are able to cover that burning pot with the lid, you can also control the fire. Mm -hmm. But you don't have the courage. That is why you want you to have this engineered thing, the extinguisher at a distance. You can discharge it and extinguish the fire. Okay. And then how do we use that as well? All right. So to use this portable extinguisher, there is something I want all of us to remember. Okay. There is an acronym for it called PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. Mm -hmm. So if you remember PASS, you will pass. Okay. <laughs> all right. So these are the components. This mm -hmm. is the hose, the discharging hose. This is the lever or the handle. Yeah. But you always have to look or watch the gauge mm -hmm. to find out if your extinguisher is active or discharged. So we have this simple gauge here, which tells us that once the indicator or the pointer is in the green, it means that your extinguisher is good. Okay. Once it moves to the red to your left, it means the pressure is no more. There's no more pressure and it has been discharged. And this extinguisher is pressure-based extinguisher. Okay. What it means is that once you discharge it, the air will come out and you'll not be able to use it next time. You have to take it out for recharging. So pass. We have this safety pin here. Okay. So the first thing to do is that you, you have to pin? pull the pin. So the first P is pull the pin. Mm -hmm. Once you pull the pin, there will be freedom in this lever. And then you press. Very good. But before you press, you have to go to the A, which is aim. You aim at the base or the bottom of the fire. Okay. You don't just have to aim at the top, but then you attack the bottom of the fire. Okay. And the first S is you squeeze. Okay. And then after squeezing, you sweep from side to side. So pass, you pull the pin, you aim at the bottom of the fire, you squeeze the handle, and then you sweep. And this is how to use Simple portable as that. dry yes. powder extinguisher. Pass. But you, f you see it's hanging everywhere. <laughs> how do we use it? How that do is we the use it? I've, I've always wondered how it's used. And that is why we come in as KUO Fire Safety, KUO cool Fire Safety. Right, and you have, a, you have a discount going on. Let's yes. talk about your discount sales. 30%. So we have a showroom in Laboni. It's on the same road as Echo Bank. Um, next to Vida Cafe, giving them free advertisement. Vida <laughs> 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 uh, Cafe, and we are offering 30%, but also if you ha put our phone number there, anyone can call. Yes, you, you can put your number out there. Okay. It's on, I don't know. Okay, and uh, we'll put your number out there later so that you can call them. It, it would have been good, but I think I see a number here. Okay, it's 0277. Um, eight nine nine seven six two zero two seven seven eight nine nine seven six two or zero two six two one one seven one zero 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 two six two one one seven one zero zero and um, I'm I'm very grateful that you came yeah. for us to do this particular education. It's good. Everybody needs to know about it. Everybody needs this in their home. Sure, kitchen yeah, kitchen. Yes. yes. Is there yeah. anything else you want to say? We also want to uh, say a big thank you for the opportunity. And as a show of appreciation, we are going to come by in early January, collect all your extinguishers, and give TV Africa free servicing and maintenance. Wow. Thank you so, so you much. you start 2020 <laughs> safely. Safely. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Yes. And I know you at home will purchase this. Every single home needs this. It's not just the offices. Every single home needs this. We have bad roads. So imagine you have an emergency, and the fire service says they can't reach your home. Mm. You need this in your kitchen. You need this in your hall. You need this every single place. Even in place. your car. Even there's in a, your car. There's an extinguisher for car. Yes. Right. 
So you need it, and it's easy to use. Pass, remember the pass, P-A-S-S. -S. It's easy to use. You need this in your kitchen as well. Thank you for being here Thank today. So we much. are grateful. My Thank guest you. for today have been Abraham Nanaishan, who is with the Health and Safety Manager at Core Fire Safety Limited, and Grace Lacour Marby, who is the Director of Core Fire Safety Limited. I, I hope you are on the Core Fire, what's for that? Lacour. That's her name. <laughs> 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 Thank you for being here today. Thank you. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we have more for you. Stay tuned. Thank you.